Hasun literally means to grill, grilled goat meat. And we're here, see, Crouton Road International. It's gonna be cut up into small pieces. So as much as possible, no bones. You want sort of the meatier part. So I need it cut this way, long way. You want it real flat, right? Less bone, so, well, we still got some bones on here, but that's fine. Just three ingredients, so this is the number one, and this is what we call the taibo, AKA ataruru, AKA habanero, scotch bonnet. So this, red onions, we got the meat, and salt, okay? So I'm just gonna need a few, just a few, because they're really hot. No bell peppers, no tatashi, no tomatoes, no temoshan. Well, I'll tell you about the spices later. The point is you should be able to pick it up, pop it in your mouth, chew, soak up the juices, and swallow. Appetizer, it's not a meal. I'm using the broil feature as opposed to the baking, so the heat is coming from, from the top. Only difference really that I found is it doesn't quite have that smoky taste to it, but it's still awesome. Because guess what? We got the basics. Goat meat, taibo, onion, and the salt. Little bit of seasoning, but we'll talk about that later. It's easier once it's cooked. Of course, it's softer, so it's easier to cut. So the trays, they're actually, you can see what's going on. They're actually meant to collect the juices. Let me sharpen my knife. Okay. To the gentlemen, if you handle the road, don't go and pee. Make sure you wash your hands right after. The whole idea is to just give it enough kick. So I'm gonna start off with four. See, one, two, three, four. It has to be red onions, not the white onions. For this purpose, it complements the habanero pepper better. The white onion is okay. I've actually tried both. I just prefer the red onion. Red onion, rojo, rouge, whatever. Take off the stalk. No need for the extra vegetables. I'm gonna use half for now, and we'll see. So, cut in half, um, kinda chop it off a bit. Put it there, via the water, okay. Taibo, aka ataruru, aka habanero, red onions, rojo, no temusa, aka tomato, no tatashi, aka red bell peppers. It doesn't have to be fine, so it's gonna be chunky. It's more of chopping. It has more onions, so we're gonna put one more habanero pepper. So check on the meat. So it's about, I don't know, about 15, 20 minutes into it. So I'll give it a few more minutes and then switch it over. Back to the pepper. Now this we're gonna use later. I think it's time to flip it over. Ooh, actually this might be ready. Flipping over. We don't want the meat to cook all the way through because we're still gonna cook it some more. So it's more of a salsa consistency. Like you can still see chunks of red onions, chunks of habanero pepper. And it also allows you to chew on them while you're enjoying the asun. Chicken bouillon. So I like it. it. It's almost like Maggi, but not as salty and we're also gonna use salt anyway. Remember the seasoning you were asking me about? There you go. Come to mommy. I'll take this piece. So you still got a little bit of pink going on, but that's fine, because we're not done cooking it yet. Please be careful with the knife. Get rid of the bone. Um, if you do happen to have like a few pieces, that's fine. I got my wok pot. And I like to use it because it has depth to it. It's just easier when turning, it stays in the pot. So I'm gonna put these over here. I need to get more meat. Got another one. Let's get that one. No, um, I'm just gonna adjust this here. Um, Put it on low, about a half inch or so in size. It makes it easy to, I would say pick, but nobody ever picks us when people grab us. 
and people have been, <laughs> fingers have been known <laughs> to end up in the pot <laughs> as well. <laughs> so now, clean hands. Make sure you do not have, I don't care if it's a paper cut on your hands, get you a pair of gloves. Please don't ask me the measurement. I'm eyeballing it. So, you don't want too much salt. You don't want too much pepper. Take a take. Maybe just a little more pepper. You don't want it to be too dry. You need it, the meat that is, you need it to be moist because it's gonna let out its juices with this process. And then we're gonna cook it all up with its juices and a little bit of seasoning. Remember that remaining piece of onion? Now I'm gonna use the spoon because now the pot is really hot. So I'm gonna mix it up. Like I said, the season is pretty much like Maggi cube, just liquefied chicken bouillon. And what the onions, the additional onions, um, it's not mandatory. However, it just adds flavor to it, additional flavor. Let's see, we'll pick, let's pick this guy. Hmm. And we're gonna steam it for a bit. See about 10 minutes. 